morning you guys and happy first day of December. Happy Vlogmas day one. I'm so excited. This is my absolute favorite time of year on YouTube, in life in general. I just love December. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to bring you guys along this month. I won't be uploading every single day, probably every like two or three days but hopefully i will be vlogging almost every day um which i'm so excited about so happy first day of december it is almost 7 30 i'm about to start work but i need to make myself a coffee because i'm not really fully awake yet still so i also got a new nespresso machine look how sexy she is does she not look divine i did a whole little unboxing over the weekend because i was just so excited so i'll insert that footage here Alrighty, I don't know where to start. I guess with the machine, we have a big bag of cookies. This is the machine that we got, the Virtuo Plus. Heard great things, did a lot of research. Oh, she's big. Are we, are we have enough room in the... Do you see how much counter space we have? You're literally so dramatic. This one is a lot fancier than our other one. Like it reads the pods, the barcodes on the pods, you know that? Yeah. Like so it knows how like hot it needs to be, like the water flow, like the technology, insane. And it's all that like, touch. Oh, we've got the um, milk frother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you so drunk? No. <laughs> what are you ever rinsing this? Oh, it feels fancy. Oh, it does feel fancy. Is that what else felt like? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just different style. Coating? This one's like shiny and this one's like matte, our old one. But I don't know if that's just because it's old. Older. It's not a good job. It's had, yeah, it's really served us well. I feel like I'm cheating on the old Nespresso. <laughs> okay, here's a little haul of the pods that we got. I had no idea what I was doing. I just chose the random ones. I'm guessing this is the welcome pack. No? Yeah? No. Yeah, I think that's the welcome. Oh. No, it was meant to come in like a box. Maybe they didn't have it. I swear it would come in the box, but it didn't. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, well, we didn't order these. Maybe that's a sample. Maybe these are our samples. So we got Peru Organic. And Altizio. I'm gonna absolutely butcher these names. Also, lost a soldier. Are you even giving the finger to the camera? Well, we have vanilla custard pie. Oh, yeah. This one intrigues me. And then we got Bianco Leggero. Not sure that's the pronunciation. I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> and caramel cookie, again, intrigues me. And then we also got. This one looks fancy. Didn't you Gingerbreads! Yeah. I forgot I ordered that one. I'm not sure about that one. Gingerbread? Yeah. But I would try it. No, no. And then a double espresso. How would you say that? Chiario? 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 Look. Sounds like we're saying Chiario. We're so white. <laughs> okay, well, the question <laughs> is what one do you want to try first? Um. You put it in like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with confidence, babe. And just press that. Mm-hmm. <gasps> it's happening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Needless to say, we're obsessed and we have not bought one single coffee out. So going well, an investment in our future. Not really sure what to do with our pods yet. We kind of just have them chilling on the counter. With my other Nespresso machine, I just put them in here. But they're just like a little too chunky for that. So look, we're going to have to figure out another storage 
solution. But I thought today, since it's the first day of December, first day of Vlogmas, I would try the gingerbread Nespresso pods. Look how high tech this is, guys. Look at that! So cool. Okay, we have our gingerbread Nespresso. This one's a big boy. It's a 230 ml, so it like filled right up with just coffee. I don't normally have my coffee black. Um, I normally have like a latte. I thought I would try it before I add the milk just to get like the real flavor. I don't know if I'm gonna like this because it's literally just black, but it smells incredible. Oh yeah. You know what? Honestly, I can drink that black. Maybe not. <laughs> Let me add a bit of milk. I found with some of the flavor pods, we got a couple like the vanilla custard pie, I think it's called, and a caramel cookie one. They're really nice and they smell amazing. But by the time you add the milk and finish making your coffee, like it just doesn't really taste like anything. It just tastes like coffee. There's like no flavor to it. Look how cute. Mug is my favorite. All the Christmasy vibes. I can't believe it's already December. I'm so excited. Okay, let's try it with a bit of milk. You know what? I think the milk accentuates the flavor of this one. It's very gingery, but in a good way. I love gingerbread. If you don't, not for you. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, I have to get to work, so sorry. <laughs> that I'm done with work for the day. I wish it was just like that. Actually, today went really fast. I don't know why. It was just like an incredibly fast day, which I'm not complaining about, especially on hump day. Recently, time just feels like it is flying by. I feel like it always gets like this towards the end of the year, like the last couple of months, but seriously, it's not okay. Anyway, I'm done with work. It's 3.32. I'm gonna put a load of washing on. I should really go get my nails done because they are looking so bad. It's been so long, like too long. Um. But I think they close at five. And honestly, like the thought of leaving the house right now in this heat, it's not really a vibe. So I think I might go tomorrow when it's a little bit cooler and it's open later, so I'm not rushed. But I don't really have anything to do. You know what I haven't done yet, you guys? My advent calendar. Okay, here we go. Day one. Oh my God, these nails are just not a vibe. What do we have? <gasps> My favorite. Red is my favorite quality street flavor, but I'm also partial to a cheeky orange as well, I won't lie. Nick's favorite is like the long orange toffee, like caramel one, which I feel like just really sums it up as a person. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna enjoy this. Do some laundry, honestly just chill out. I haven't had an afternoon where I haven't had anything to do in forever. So I'm going to bask in the glory of doing absolutely nothing and I'll go get my nails done tomorrow. Um, I really should do some wedding planning, but I honestly can't be bothered. I don't think I told you guys, but I keep having this really vivid reoccurring dream where I forget to tan for the wedding and I wake up in a sweat, let me tell you it. I really need to book in like my tanning appointment because this is driving me crazy. Oh my gosh, it is like so vivid. It feels so real. It's like the morning of the wedding, we're all getting ready and I look down and I'm just, and it's like a couple hours before the wedding, so it's too late to tan and oh my gosh, absolutely tragic. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like I need to unpack that maybe with like a psychologist, but uh, yeah, that's my <laughs> reoccurring wedding nightmare. Definitely gonna book in my wedding tan appointment soon because it's stressing me out. I also need to figure out some other alternative storage solution for these pods. I think I might just put them in the pantry because this is just not working for me. They're just gathering dust. Uh, here, I guess. Do you want a regular or a regular? Hey there, can I please 
grab uh, two regular burritos with uh, right rice and beans with both, thank you. Yeah, one bean. Chicken, please. Chicken. Yeah. Awesome. Great, thanks. Have one. Thank you. Hi, I was just wanting to make an appointment. Uh, your phone number, please. It's 0425. Yes, that's right. Okay, see you at 5 o'clock today. Great, thank you. Bye. Thanks, bye. Okay, Vlogmas Day 2, what have we got? Ooh. Hi, you guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 2 already. Oh my gosh, it's already flying by. I can't believe it's already Thursday. I had that realization like half an hour ago. I was like, it is Thursday today. I'm sorry, how did that happen? Not sure, but definitely not complaining. We are literally one day, one and a half hours away from the weekend and I could not be more excited. This week has been a week. Had a lot of system issues at work this morning, so I'm about to log back on. I just finished my last break of the day and I have a few outbound calls to make to some customers that I couldn't assist with earlier. Typically we only do like inbound calls, like I work for an inbound contact center as a customer service specialist. So it's normally only inbound calls, but there are a few exceptions to that where we're like call back customers if we can't help or if it's urgent or if it's like more detailed. So I have like three or four different calls to make now and then yeah, that should see me out for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to get my nails and I booked an appointment for five. So can't wait. This hand especially, like, I'm sorry, not cute. I might go for something festive, I'm feeling. I feel like that might be quite fun. Um, who knows though? I always say that and then I get in there. I'm like, okay, just pink, pink nude, thanks. <laughs> also, yes, I still do have my birthday balloons. They are still alive. I mean, they're barely breathing, but they are still here with us. <laughs> um, I need to get rid of those. I just need to tidy up my desk. We're just a hot mess right now. I guess I can tell you guys, um, about the calls I'm about to make because they're not like specific to anyone or confidential or whatever. I have one call um, to a customer to finalize a quote that we were doing this morning that we couldn't finish because of the system issues. Um, and then I have my second call is just calling back the customer to update some payment information and take a payment. And then the third one is not my customer, but I got it referred to by my team leader it's just a general customer that i think wants to cancel their policy but they sent through an email so yes that's what i'm about to do and i feel like i may have a fourth call that i need to follow up on but i'll double check but yeah that's my life not that interesting and voila we have my beautiful christmasy nails Still like super simple, but like Christmassy vibes, which I'm loving. Um, but yeah, it's almost seven, well, it's gone past seven o'clock actually. I was gone for a while. I was at the nail place for ages. They were super busy, but that's okay. I hadn't had them done in forever. So there was work to be done, let me tell you. But now I'm home. I've just put dinner in the oven. We're having chicken skewers tonight with, well, we were meant to have pumpkin salad, but the pumpkins got bad. So like a pumpkinless pumpkin salad, I don't know. <laughs> a salad, just a normal salad. I'll probably chuck in some like feta and some pine nuts, pine nuts. Wow, cannot speak. Just to spice it up. But yeah, gonna have dinner, chill out, probably finish watching Selling Sunset season, is it season four? I think it is, the one that just came out. Let me know if you guys watch Selling Sunset and what your thoughts and feelings are on this season. We haven't finished watching, so it's too soon to say, but it's not like, captivating me like the first few seasons did like the first few i binged watch like binged watch which is so unlike me like if you know me i don't watch netflix nick and i have like one show that we watch together at a time but otherwise i'm a youtube gal through and through so for me to binge watch a show i mean it's got to be good but this season i don't know like it feels a little bit more overproduced and like less about the houses and like more about the drama. Like I want to see real estate, like show me a beautiful $17 million home that I'll never be able to own in my wildest dreams. Like that's what I'm here for with like a sprinkle of drama, but it's just drama, drama, drama. And like the same stuff, I mean, give it a rest. Like it just feels a bit repetitive. It's just them like constantly greeting each other being like, oh my God, you look so great. Or then be like, oh my God, Christina, I can't believe you just had a baby like three hours ago. You look incredible. I don't mean she does, right? Or she looks incredible, but I feel like it's constant. Like it's really perpetual this unrealistic standard of like bouncing back after childbirth and anyway that's around for another day but um yeah I don't know I mean I will still watch and I'll still continue to enjoy it but 
not the biggest fan this season. Let me know your thoughts and feelings if you guys do watch it. Um, let me know who your favorite is. Mine is definitely Chrishell. She's just like such a sweetie. I just want to wrap her up in a... Oh! Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna go finish making dinner. Hope you guys are all having a good day. Yeah, I have nothing else to say of value. That's pretty much what this whole vlog mess is gonna be. So buckle up. <laughs> my life is a constant cycle of me uh, waking up, doing my morning routine, walking five steps to my work desk, going to work for eight hours, um, walking five steps from my office to the lounge room, making dinner and uh, chilling out for the rest of the night. So riveting stuff. <laughs>